Hey guys, Rado here with Jay, and used to be covering this bike with our manly bodies here. There's a good reason for it, so uh, we're gonna talk about everything that has been done to this bike today. It's pretty much done, but we don't want to show it to you yet, so stick around. So I'm holding the chain here, and I'm here. I got plenty of adjustment, and I got plenty of adjustment here. That's what I'm pointing at. So you know that I've been working on this bike for quite some time, right? Like a few months. And long time. Long time. Jay is making fun of me that it took too long. He's building like, how many bikes did you build? I think at least 12 since you've been doing this one. So 12 to 1, that ratio. He builds 12 bikes, I built one, but at least I finished it. Okay, so hey, and uh, Jay has been a great help uh, through our whole process, you know, helping me with parts. He's uh, my friend and my mentor, you know, uh, doing everything that uh, he can to help me out. And I'm really grateful for that. So I thought it would be cool. If I bring this bike over here and we do this cherry on the top and finish all these little details uh, in Jay's garage. So that's what we did today, right? Yeah, and I, I think it's fun because, uh, like I, I tell Rado all the time, I don't know how he films each 
piece of the thing. And so all those builds I did, we don't show anything because it just takes so long. Yeah. So when he does these things and he's taking the bike down and putting the engine in, all those things he's doing take a long time to set up the camera and get the shot. Right. And I'm not willing to do it. I don't yeah. got the patience for it. I just want to get the bikes done. I had to slow him down today. Like, hey, stop, stop. I need to change the angle. Hey, stop. Don't do this. And don't I'm do like, that. He got upset with me a couple of times because <laughs> I need to change the, the angle. He is working really fast. So uh, I, I couldn't keep up with the camera. So Jay, what do you think? Uh, how many percent was this bike done when I brought it over here? Oh, 90, 95% done. And so just some of the time consuming stuff if you're not used to doing it. And so one of the first things we did was the chain and uh, put the chain in the front sprocket on put a little bit of silicone on that clip, the Suzuki's running clips. We like right. to run silicone there so it doesn't rattle away. Mm -hmm. The chain, we and we used a U-seal, like, which is a kind of a motocross chain. It's a, it's a small O-ring chain. People think they're a full O-ring, but it's just a slight, uh, mm -hmm. even a lot of the race teams run those in motocross now because they're a lot heavier duty, especially for these mm -hmm. four strokes. These things, if you run a non-O-ring chain, a, a full, just regular, they wear out very quick. Okay. So we got that chain and we cut the chain to the right length, put that on, adjusted the chain, um, and then just did a few little things, you know, put on some stickers, grip tape on the fr on the right. frame. Um, we finished up those, got a, and then we ran our brake lines. That was big. Yeah, yeah. Actually, you know, guys, uh, I came here like what, 5:30, 5:40, yeah. and it's uh, it's 9 p.m. So it took a lot of time, and uh, he didn't stop working. So I was just running around, you know, giving him tools and uh, helping little things and doing the, the camera work. But uh, all these little details, they really take a lot of time. So I didn't really expect that we will be working for like uh, four hours here. Yeah. yeah. So we, we got the brake lines, lines run, uh, uh, Rocky Mountain Tusk has these lines that you got, and we like to run this nice clamp to hold it really good on the front, so we got that on there, and then ran the rear uh, lines, got those all ran, and then we bled them, and, and I use dot four, and I just get fluid at mm -hmm. autos, actually I get it at O'Reilly's, that dot four that I okay. use, really good fluid. Um, and you get the little thing, the machine that sucks the air through it? It's called a vacuola. Instead yes. of Dracula, yeah. Vacula. <laughs> and, and they're like, they're kind of expensive online, but we do so many breaks that it more than pays for itself. You yeah. saw how quick we yeah. were able to do yeah, that. Yeah. If you're trying to do it just without, it's tough. Mm -hmm. And so we got really good feel at the brake here. Um, we've got a couple little parts we need to buy. We're going to get this rubber boot here. We've got That's a right. couple little things we're still going to get to finish this thing completely, but it's basically, now it's like 99% done. Mm -hmm. So get, you're using that, and then we'll back... We back pressure uh, bled the front. The rear we got pretty quick, and the front, mm. well, you know, we kind of beat on the line. We'll do some of that stuff to get yeah. it worked up, and you bleed it all off the top. It's quite a lot of work to get it done, uh, you know, perfectly. So you have no small bubbles in the lines, and it feels really good now. It's really, you know, hard and no spongy feeling, nothing like that. It's funny when guys go, oh, only only little one came up. Uh, yeah. Only takes one little one yeah. to be a problem. <laughs> so can't be none. Right. Okay, and then we use some uh, heat gun to do the, the grip tape yep. on the frame. Yeah, and airbox. What else? Yeah, we did some stickers and we still didn't start it. Maybe we can... We don't want to show it to you because uh, I'm planning some nice reveal video. I uh, want to show it. I'm fine showing. Yeah, he's, it, he's fine. He's showing like ten bikes uh, in a month. But <laughs> I've been working on this for like six months. I don't want to give it out for free, right? It must <laughs> so, be a big production. And right. Drone right. footage and yeah. Well, let's see what we can get. A band playing. <laughs> yeah, something like that. All right, guys. So uh, Jay, what do you think? My second build. Uh, I think you're getting even better. So it. Yeah, so you did a lot of good work, and like I said, it's very time-consuming to, to mm. do it, to film it taking apart, to film right. it going back together, showing that stuff. But people like seeing that. Um, you guys like it, right? When you see all the work, like and I don't have time to do it, so I'm not going to do it. If you say, "Hey, Jay should do that," to his because Rado is telling me I should do it. Yeah. It's like I don't got time to do that. Uh, so if someone's going to come over and film me doing it, and they want to edit it, uh, they can do it. No, but even that, you don't have time to wait for guys. Yeah, you know, I know. Because it takes forever to set the nice shot, you know. So maybe you have to have two guys filming. They could all be in different shots, yeah, you know, yeah, filming me. Something so, like that. Like for a reality TV show. So, mm -hmm. um, but this thing is going to be good. And you, it already starts, we're, uh, you're going to break it in a little bit yeah. with the stock wheels and tires on. And then make sure it runs and then wash it again before our final shoot. And we're going to be shooting it with Racer X very soon. Yeah. So David Pinger will 
do little whips on this thing, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully some big whips. <laughs> All right, guys, I guess that's about it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We're going to show you a lot of footage of the things what we did on this uh, build. And then maybe in like a week or two, we should be out with the reveal and it should look good. All right, guys, that's about it for today. And don't forget, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you guys later.